let's now consider the important part in creating a sample servlet. The servlet that we are creating in here is the login servlet. The login servlet, if you look at it, it extends the HTTP servlet. The HTTP servlet is defined in the package Java X servlet HTTP HTTP servlet. This is coming from the JEE specification. So any servlet should extend HTTP servlet. That's number one. So we extend the HTTP servlet. The second thing is what is the URL to this servlet? So when I type in localhost 8080, we came in here. How did we come in here? We use something called a URL. The URL which is assigned to this particular servlet is login.do. To assign a URL to this servlet, we use an annotation called at web servlet. At web servlet is a new annotation in JEE 6. It's in the package Java X servlet annotation web servlet. And it defines, it helps us define the URL patterns for this particular URL. An annotation is something which adds more information onto a class. This particular class, we defined it as a HTTP servlet. But we also want to add more information onto it. We want to add the URL for it. For that sake, we use a web servlet annotation. The web servlet annotation adds more information to the login servlet. Now we are saying web servlet with a URL pattern login.do. So we are saying how do we call the login servlet? You have to type in slash login.do. Let's do this quickly. Instead of typing in localhost colon 8080, I would say localhost colon 8080 slash login.do. So we typed in login.do instead of localhost colon 8080. So we typed in localhost, localhost colon 8080 slash login.do. And now I see the output. So login.do is basically the URL which is used to invoke this particular servlet. Earlier, we saw that we are sending a get request. So the request which we are sending in is of a type get. The method, if you see, is get request. To handle that, we need to create a do get method. If you look at the HTTP servlet, it defines a couple of methods in here. The one which we are interested in is this particular method, do get. The do get method is used to handle get requests. So we create a do get method. So we created a do get method which has two inputs or two parameters. The first one is the HTTP servlet request and the output from it is the HTTP servlet response. So request is the input, response is the output. So that's what we learned earlier. For any servlet, what is the input? Request. What is the output? Response. So we read from the request and put information back in the response. That's what we do. So we created a method do get to handle the request to login.do. What kind of request? We are going to handle the get request. That's why it's called do get. So we are going to handle the get request to login.do and we are going to send a response back. What we would have in the response is what we are writing in here. So we are getting a writer object from the response. So we are doing a response.get writer and getting a print writer ob out, object out. And from here, it's very simple to simple thing like a system.out.println. So I'm doing an out.println, whatever content needs to be sent in the response. So I'm saying out.println, HTML, head, title. So if you look at the response back for this particular thing, if I highlight this and see the response, you'd see that the response here exactly matches what we are typing in. Whatever changes I would make in here, you'd see in the response as well. So if I go ahead and change, let's say Yahoo, I would change it. I'll remove the semicolons at the end and just say title Yahoo. Give it some time for the context to reload and we are ready. Now I go ahead and type this again. You see that now the title is changed to Yahoo. Whatever is in this particular servlet, is being returned back as the response. These are the four important things. First one, any servlet should extend HTTP servlet. For any servlet, I would want to give it a URL. The way we do that is by using an annotation at web servlet and passing a parameter URL pattern. 
In this servlet, we need to define what kind of methods I would want to handle. I would want to handle request method get or request method post. So in this example, we are looking at request method get and we defined a do get HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response method. In this method, request is the input and response is the output. And how did we create the response? We took the get writer and we wrote some output into the print writer. What I'll recommend you to do is try and play around with this particular servlet. Try and make changes to it. Try and change the URL. Try and change the content which is printed in. Try and play around with it for about 10 minutes to get more understanding about this particular servlet. We will discuss this servlet more in the next step and also try and create this from scratch. This has been a very long but very interesting step one. We understood the request response flow. We understood how the browser creates the HTTP request and how the web server responds back with a HTTP response. We understood how to create our first login servlet. We looked at important things like pom.xml and web.xml and probably you were introduced to a lot of new terminology as well. This is probably the longest and probably the most important of the 25 steps that we would discuss as part of this course. So I will really recommend you to repeat this step if you have any questions. So are we ready to move on to the next step?